When you log into FunnelX AI, you'll see a dashboard. The first thing that you'll want to do is add a product. So we'll click on the products tab and from there click add products. You can add any kind of product that you happen to have already or that you are already selling. For example, if you have a PLR product on your hard drive uh, that either doesn't have a sales page or doesn't have a good sales page because, let's face it, most of the PLR sales pages are not great, you can use this tool to instantly create one for that product. It can be an ebook, children's book, video course, or a mixed bundle of various types of media. So I have a little PDF that I got rights for somewhere. It's just a little ebook helping grooms give their wedding speech. Here it is, wedding speeches for the groom. Very short PDF, but it's the type of product that is evergreen. Because as long as this is a tradition for grooms to give a speech, there are going to be nervous grooms going to the Internet looking for any help they can find, and they're going to be happy to pay a small price for these pre-written speech templates. So the product name... Wedding speeches for the groom. It's an ebook. The description, simply an ebook containing wedding speeches for the groom. And I'm going to upload that file. If you happen to already have it hosted somewhere, you can simply paste in the URL. Otherwise, you can upload it from your computer and click Save. That takes me to the Manage Products page. And you can see already the status of this product is active. And under the Actions menu, I can get the product URL, update the product, or delete it. That product URL will be helpful later on when we generate the thank you page. Our next step is going to be to create a sales page. So we'll click on Sales Pages, Add Page. On this page, you'll have a drop down at the top where you can choose any of your products that you've added so far. So this one will be Wedding Speeches for the Groom. The product name will be Wedding Speeches for the Groom. Uh, my product price, let's say $27.00. And I'm going to give it a discount. I'm going to give the discounted price of $17 because I'm just thinking about, you know, this groom that's sitting there sweating bullets the night before his wedding, and he will easily pay $17 for my ebook. The product description can be just something very simple and descriptive, like this is an ebook containing several pre written speech templates that will work for any groom. You'll receive various speech templates for sentimental speeches, funny speeches, icebreakers, and more. You don't have to go through the work of, you know, creating a pitch or coming up with a bunch of sales copy, it's just a description and we'll let the AI come up with the sales pitch. The target audience, of course, is a groom who's about to get married. You can either do a buy button code or a buy button URL. So, for example, you could use a PayPal button code. You could use code for a third-party affiliate network like JVZoo or Warrior Plus. In this demonstration, I will go get some PayPal button code to show you how it's done, but for now I'm just going to put a placeholder there. You can choose to give it a money-back guarantee, for example, like 30 days. Give yourself a name. You could either use your name or a pen name. I'm not really known in the wedding speech industry, so I'll use a pen name in this case. If you have a logo, you can upload it here, and it will appear at the top of the page. Likewise, if you have a box image or, say, an e-cover image, any sort of image of the product itself, you can upload that here for the sales page. You could also grab any sort of stock image for that. For example, I could hop over to a royalty-free site like Pexels, type in groom speech, and find a bunch of pictures that would work. So here's like... One of the first ones that comes up, I could download that, jump back over to my sales page, and here where it says box image, just grab that image that we just got and use that for our product image. And as I'm thinking about it, that's actually not a bad option for the logo, too. I could grab uh, any sort of an image that would work well for this topic to use as the logo graphic just to add a little more pizzazz to the sales page. For example, I could jump over to a site like Pixabay and just search for wedding toast, and I'm thinking... If I narrow that down to illustrations rather than photos, you see we come up with some neat little graphics that would probably work for this. This would be a perfect graphic for my logo. So we'll download that, come back over, and for the logo, add that little logo. By this funnel, and of course, you know, if you're working for a client, you know, they're going to probably give you a logo, or if you have a, a brand already, you, you probably already have a logo. But that's just a very easy way to come up with something very quickly. And then click Save. And our engine will go to work creating your sales page for you. As you can see, it says, congratulations, sales page created successfully. You can see we actually have a note here on the page that says, after saving your page, it may take several minutes for your page to go through the process of being created. When it's done processing, you'll see some additional options under the Actions menu, and you can then toggle the Visibility button to Active.
So we'll just give this a moment and then we will refresh the page. All right, I just waited about 10 to 15 seconds, refresh the page, and now you can see it is in draft mode and I can toggle it to visible. Now it's active. So now under the actions menu, I have several additional options. I can click the design button to go in and customize this page. I can click sales page data, which allows me to change some of the inputs that were used to create the page. I can change the SEO settings, update the page, or delete it. So let's go ahead and click the design button so that we can make some customizations. So you can see this logo that I just grabbed for free worked beautifully there at the top of the page. The AI came up with a very nice headline for me. Now, of course, if you want to tweak anything, you can. It's as simple as clicking and typing whatever you want to edit. So here on this deck copy, I think I want to put that aligned left instead of center. I'm just going to add a line break right there. And you can kind of go through and see if there are any tweaks that you want to make or any edits that you want to make. Dear soon-to-be groom, say I do to stress-free and unforgettable wedding speeches with our customizable... Not sure what happened there, but I just needed to add two words. Why listen to me? Here's my journey from nervous groom to confident speaker. A few of these elements are just sort of made to be like placeholders to help you understand the different parts of the sales page. Like here where it said state the problem or problem state. It's to let you know that that is what this section of the sales letter is all about. And so you can actually delete that as you go through it. Or you could change it to another subheadline, but it's really just a placeholder to let you know that's what this is about. We then have some additional placeholders if you want to add additional sections to your sales letter. In this case, I don't think I need this section, so I'll just delete the whole section. Again, here's another section that I don't necessarily need. So you can customize any of these sort of placeholder sections if you want to use them. Otherwise, you can delete them if you don't need them. We figure it would be better to put in some extra sections to make it easy for you to make additions. Yeah. Now, of course, you can go in and easily add any elements to this sales page from scratch, but the reason we did it this way is to give you some great pre-formatted options. Same thing with the bonuses. Same thing with the bonuses. If you have some bonuses that would fit with your product, you can insert those here. And once you've got it done to your liking, you can go ahead and click the Save Project button. Just to show you what it is, I'm going to click on the sales page data link, and you can see this is essentially all the guts of the sales letter. So you can go in here and tweak certain parts of it, like stating the problem or the solution to the problem or overcoming the objections. That's the sales page content. You also have the product offer, testimonials, which are optional, and FAQs, which are optional. So let's say you want to add testimonials. It's as simple as adding your testimonial and clicking Save Changes, you can add an image to go with that testimonial. And if you want to add more, click the green button to add more. Same thing with FAQs. You want to add more FAQs, just click the green button. Let's go back to Sales Pages. We can also tweak the SEO settings. And if you care about SEO, you can put in an SEO optimized title and description and keywords. You can also insert a Facebook pixel and a Google Analytics code. Then you've got a couple of options. You can click download, get to join now. download this page AI. as an HTML Just page, which can then be uploaded and hosted description. on your own website or anywhere that you're hosting things. Or click view, and okay. you'll have a live copy of this sales page that you could send traffic to immediately. Now, of course, we need a thank you page to go along with this sales page. So first thing I'm going to do is click on products and manage products. And under actions, I'm going to get product URL. So this just copied the download link for that ebook, Wedding Speeches for the Groom. Now I'm going to go to Thank You Pages, Add Page, and the product that I'm choosing to generate a thank you page for is Wedding Speeches for the Groom. I'm going to simply paste that delivery URL that I just copied to the clipboard. Again, I copied it from that product management page, and I'm pasting it here to generate my thank you page. And I'll click Save. Thank you page added successfully. It is active. And similar to what I showed you on the sales page editing options, we can click to customize the design. We can change the input data. We can update it. 
we can download it as an HTML page or view it as is. First, let's click on the design button to see if there are any tweaks that we want to make. As you can see, the thank you page is pretty basic, which is just what you want for a thank you page. Thank you for buying wedding speeches for the groom. You want to thank your customer for the purchase. Here you've got the little picture of the product and the download button. We added a couple of additional download links, which can be customized if you have any bonuses that you're giving or anything else that you want to add to this, perhaps some unadvertised bonuses. Now, of course, if you're not going to use those, it's as simple as clicking the X to delete it. And if you want to add anything to this, say, for example, like your support email address or help desk link, you can simply do that by adding some text. For now, I'll go ahead and just save this project. Project saved. Now, under the Actions menu, again, I can download that HTML page, and I can then host it anywhere, like on my own website, which I think is a great benefit compared to a lot of other platforms out there that don't really allow you to download the HTML pages that you generate using their platforms. We do. Or you can click View, and you can actually use this hosted version of your page, which is ready to go. So I could simply copy that URL, in other words, the web address, hop over to my PayPal account, go to links and create buttons. Now, depending on what version of PayPal you're using, it might look just a little bit different, but pretty much anyone who has a business account at least should be able to generate payment buttons. So I'm going to create a product or service. It'll be a single product or service. The name is going to be wedding speeches for the groom. Okay, the price is going to be $17. We don't really need the shipping address. We don't need a shipping fee or a tax. We don't need to collect any additional notes. Search. I'm going to do buy a single now. button, and then I do want large, to buy now, and then I do want to customize the thank you page. So we're going to use a custom auto return URL, and this is the web address for that thank you page that we just generated. I'll paste that in, and then scroll up and click build it. Now here's my button code. I'm going to click the button that says copy code. I'm going to come back to our platform. I'm going to go to sales pages, manage pages. Now remember I put a placeholder there? We're going to fix that now. So under the actions menu, I'm going to click update page. And remember I put in that little placeholder that just said PayPal button code. I'm going to go right there and paste in that PayPal button code and click update. You want to regenerate the page? I'm going to say yes. Now that I think about it, there are a couple of ways of doing that. The way I maybe should have done it was go to design and then insert the code from there. Because the way I did it, by updating the page, it actually regenerates the page. So we may have actually overwritten some of those tweaks that I made previously. So we don't necessarily want to do that. But I think you get the idea. If I go now to view the page and scroll down to the payment button, hopefully we get have instant a access now. Panel X A. Just button, check my video description. This is the one time prices, just seventy dollars. E and subscribe my channel or like comment so and press the bell icon. I took an old PLR product that I had no sales page for, no graphics for, generated a sales page for it, generated a thank you page for it, and actually got it live online for sale. In other words, somebody could go to this sales page right now, click the order button and purchase this ebook and it will be delivered to them on autopilot and you can do that over and over again for your own products and for your clients